Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in November of last year, I'll let you know that Microsoft's first desktop PC will run Windows 11 from the cloud and cost 349 US dollars and won't run apps. And as I mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, Microsoft had announced its first desktop PC that will be the first dedicated boot to the cloud device designed to run Windows 11 only by streaming it online via Windows 365 and calling it the Windows 365 link. Go check the video out for more info. Now, just to let you know that the 365 link PC is nearing its public release. And just to show you a couple of interesting images that have appeared over on X uh, that I thought were interesting, just to kind of do a follow up to that video. And images now of the 365 link have become available and this is also suggesting that it's getting close to general availability and the device is now in private testing so basically microsoft is a b testing it with a limited subset of users and that would be windows 365 customers with as mentioned the release and availability expected to begin in april now according to windows central the images show just how small the Windows 365 link is. And here we can see it's small enough to be held in one hand. It's made of plastic, they mention. And it features a USB A port, 365mm audio jack on the front, two more USB A ports on the back, a USB C port, Ethernet, Display Port, and HDMI. And in regards to its actual hardware, how the understanding goes is that the 365 link is using a low-end Intel N250 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. And on a normal PC, these specs obviously would not be that great. But as mentioned, the device itself doesn't actually run any apps and it's not something that the user is going to notice, I think, if everything is getting streamed to the cloud. But nonetheless, those are kind of just a bit of a up-close view of what this um, 365 link is all about and quite small. So the benefit of that, obviously, is, is that it won't take up a lot of desk space or real estate in your office or your home or your study, as an example. And as mentioned, the device is expected to go on sale in April for 349 US dollars. But of course, the only catch with this is that the Windows 365 link is not going to be of much help unless you have an active subscription to a Windows 365 PC. So just take that into consideration. But there we go. Just wanted to do a follow up to that previous video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.